What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time to the channel, my name is Connor Fairbrass. Behind me is my 2021 four-door Bronco Big Ben in race red. Been a little quiet on the channel recently, but that doesn't mean I haven't been up to uh, a couple things with the Bronco. It's been a few months since my last video, but I've been really busy with work and life as well as upgrading the Bronco. So without further ado, I'll show you all the new things that I've done with the Bronco over the last four to five months that I haven't uh, posted anything on. Like I mentioned in my last video, I told you that I had a two inch lift kit and 35 inch tires on order. So those have finally come in and I have installed those. So I have a two inch zone lift that I had installed at the dealership. So kind of tough to see, but as you can see from the image from Zone's website, it is really just a puck that sits right on the top of the coil there. Kind of tough to see it from the back but you can kind of see it sitting right there. Super, super easy install from my understanding. Alignment wasn't uh, too difficult. My tech said it was uh, just like doing a Ranger or an F-150. Now with the two inch, I decided I want to go with 35 inch tires and I didn't want to go with the OEM spec like the Sasquatch. I thought about the beadlock wheels look really, really good, but I want to go with an all black look because of course I've got the beautiful race red and I think it looks really good with the red and everything kind of blacked out. So these are 18 inch fuel octane rims. These are 18 by nines and they are a negative 12 off. So you can kind of see just how much there is on the inside there. Now with that, I did have to go with a Sasquatch fender flare. So my OEM flares a tire stuck out quite a bit. And of course, with it sticks out so much, the whole side of the Bronco was always dirty, always filthy. And of course, I've got a couple scratches. I've got a couple little uh, stone chips because I didn't get the Sasquatch flares in time from when I ordered the uh, rims and tires. They were on back order for a little bit here, in me, here for me in Canada, but they fit really, really well. It's a nice meaty look. It still has a little bit of offset, still poking out quite a bit from the Sasquatch flare, but it keeps the truck a lot cleaner. Now up at the front of the Bronco, I have done a couple little things, nothing too crazy. First thing being I painted the grill black. The Big Bends usually come with a molded in color gray front grill. I'll throw a picture up on the screen here of what it looked like beforehand. I feel like with everything else, gray slash black, like your, your front bumper, the flares, everything blacked out. It just looked a lot better going with the all black, especially again, going into the race red color. I think red on black is just a nice, clean, classic look on a lot of vehicles. This looks good overall. Now, as you can see, shining up on the top here. So I have the Diodynamic S3 LED spotlights here. These are awesome. These are really, really bright. I kind of have them angled to kind of shine just past the trail sights on each side, but really, really easy to install. I'm not a huge fan of wiring, but I mean, it's super easy with the aux switches. So we'll jump under the hood and I'll show you that. Now under the hood, one thing that I did do, which was a special gift from a customer of mine, he gave me these red line tuning hood struts. Really, really nice. It's awesome. It eliminates me having to use the annoying hood prop, which doesn't open it very far where this opens up quite a bit. You'll be able to see from the side shot here, just how much it really opens it up. Now, this was super helpful because like I said, I have the auxiliary switches. So these wires here 
Ford has pre-run all of these wires for your auxiliary switches. As you can see, I've tapped into this one here. This is a green and a brown wire. This is aux switch number two. I can't remember what the amperage is for this one, but I like the idea of using this one for my um, LED lights. Makes it really, really easy, but just a couple subtle things, uh, nothing too crazy, but highly recommend those Redline uh, tuning hood props if you are gonna be under the hood of your Bronco frequently. Now just shy of 9,000 kilometers and it's about five months old at this point. Got to think 8,600 uh, kilometers on it. It has been amazing. I have not had any problems with it. I have had single check engine light come on with it, nothing. It has been the best brand new vehicle I've had. I've had a new F-150 before this. Had a couple problems with the sunroof right off the bat with that truck, but this has been awesome. I'm extremely happy with it. I know it's a long wait. I waited a year, like I said, in my other video. So to those people out there who have ordered your Bronco and are still waiting for your Bronco, I know it's easier said than done. Hang in there. It is well worth the wait. Once you have it, you will love every single second of it. I have no problems. Every single day I get into the truck and I smile. I look back at it when I walk away. On a daily basis, I catch someone staring at it or asking me about it. It is just, it, it's a, such a fun truck and a lot of people know about it, a lot of Jeep owners know about it, and uh, I've got a very exciting video coming up after this one. I just came back from an off-roading event with a handful of people here in uh, Ontario. We went up to Bob Cajun, hit Concession Trail. Very cool video coming for that. I'll put the card right up at the top here so you can watch that. This had no problem keeping up with some of the most off-road ready Jeeps I've seen. We didn't hit a crazy trail, a uh, good trail nonetheless, but it performed flawlessly. I'm extremely happy with it, but we'll see you on the next video. Keep an eye on the channel. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe.